Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by the Butler. Um, first, if you're wondering why there's no more intro before the start of my videos, uh, it's because uh, for some reason it was screwing with the HD settings for YouTube. Uh, so I had to get rid of it. Uh, I might work on it some after Christmas and put it back in. I don't know. But today or right now, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a little exploding planet or sun thing like this from scratch. It's pretty simple, it doesn't take very long. So yeah, let's get started. Go up to file, hit new. Uh, I'm making mine width 1000 by height 1000. Uh, you can make yours bigger or smaller depending on what you want to do with it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, then fill that layer with black with your paint bucket tool black alright uh, now you're going to get your uh, elliptical marquee tool and you're just going to hold down shift and alt and make a big selection and move it to the center of your image actually I don't like the size of that one I'm going to make a smaller one alright there we go then you're going to go up to filter, um, render, and difference clouds. And now uh, you're going to want to keep running that filter until you get a look that you like. Uh, so just hit Control F over and over again until you get one that you like. Uh, yeah, I like that one. Um, okay, we're going to go with that one. Then you're going to go to Filter, uh, Distort, Spherize, Amount 100, Mode Normal, hit OK. That'll make it look kind of 3D-ish. Now you're going to deselect that, and we're going to put a glow, oh, whoops, actually don't deselect it yet. Uh, we're going to put a sort of a glow around the outside of the planet, uh, hit Control shift i to select inverse and go up to filter, blur, radial blur, put amount on 100, blur method zoom, quality good, hit OK. Um, I don't really think that's a big enough blur so just keep hitting control F until you get the shine that you want. Then once you're done with that, uh, deselect that. Now we're going to get our gradient tool so we can give this picture some color. Uh, to get that, go over to your paint bucket, hold down left click, and select the gradient tool. You can see I already have an orange to yellow uh, color here, but to get that, uh, just start out with this right here, then adjust the sliders till you get the colors you want, then hit OK. Uh, set your mode to color burn, your opacity to 100%, and then draw a line, left click, hold it down, and draw a line across your screen. That'll um, make it go from one end of the spectrum of your gradient to the other. So it starts with red down here then goes to yellow. Uh, you can make it go straight across the screen. Uh, you can make it go this way, this way. Doesn't really matter. Just keep fiddling with that till you want it. The shorter the line, the less extreme the color change will be. See, that's not extreme at all. And that is. So I'm going to go with something like this. Don't like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, now what you're going to do is take your smudge tool. If you don't see it, it's in the same section as blur and sharpen. And you're just going to pull out the uh, part of the planet straight out kind of make little flares like it's going to explode or something and put these wherever you want in your image um, don't do like you're trying to make fire with squiggly lines like that because in my opinion it doesn't look as good I mean if you really want to you can but I'm not I'm just doing straight lines and just put those wherever you think should they should go Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, now you're done. It's pretty simple, but it looks pretty cool. You can use this as a pretty cool desktop background or something. Uh, if you also, if you started with a larger base image, you could put in some different planets and stars and stuff, and make a pretty cool space uh, picture. So yeah, just fiddle around with that till you make it look how you want it. Rate, subscribe, comment. Have fun. Don't die.